Amy with Dee's Doodle Ranch here, and I am bringing to you today both Athena and Addie's litters. Both are up for combined selection on Wednesday. So this is for the folks on that list. And I will also have four to five additional puppies available after selections on Wednesday. So if you are interested in joining this wait list or selecting a leftover puppy, get a hold of me this week. All will be available to uh, customers on Thursday. So I'm gonna dive right in, starting with Athena's litter. A quick note, this entire litter seems independent, which means they explore a little bit, but they're cautious. They're going to be good for training. Um, independent means they're not uh, stuck to you. So they're gonna be good for families who have lots of family members to share the puppy. They're gonna be good for those of you that work from home that need a dog that can entertain themselves while you do your work, and so on and so forth. I'm gonna to quickly touch on each of their coats as well as a slight information on their temperament. Um, just to give you an idea, because there are 11 puppies in this litter and I don't want this video to last half an hour, I'm going to be quick about it. So I'm gonna dive right in with Athena's. And I'm starting out here with Ace, the blue string. Ace is a very unique dog. So you see that he is currently what we would call a party. He has white with chocolate spots. What's going to change about him is that he will not be white as an adult. He is going to be a chocolate. He may have white tufts here and there, but if you look closely, you see all that dark color. That's not his skin, that's his hair. And it is already coming through very well on here. I sent a puppy home with this roan marking last year and he is now a solid dark dog. Um, he's got some, some merle spots on him, I believe, but he is no longer white whatsoever. So you're not going to get a white dog out of this. You're gonna get a little bit of white, mostly chocolate. So that is Ace. And again, Ace is independent, uh, gentle, loves people. He, Ace out of this whole litter is the one who absolutely loves other dogs. So if you have another dog in the household, he's gonna be an excellent companion for that. So that is Ace and he is our blue string from Athena. And this little phantom Merle nugget is Marley. Now Marley slept in the tent for most of the video. So if you saw a little puppy just being lazy in that little red tent, it was Marley. I tried to zoom in on him when I could. He has the most gorgeous round face. Look, look at that face. Oh, absolutely adorable with the little short ears. His Merle markings are absolutely stunning. They are the chocolate Merle markings. And of course he has the phantom on his face, lots and lots of phantom on this guy. So he is beautiful, he's a sweetheart. Marley, um, again, is independent, loves people. And yes, he just wants to crawl on me and explore. So that's a good boy. This litter is full of kissers. Um, he's a good kisser. Yes, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, all right, all right, good boy. So Marley again is from Athena and he is the red string. And our second chocolate Merle in Athena's litter is Ozzy. He's the black string. And again, gorgeous little face, a little bit wider than his brother's. His ears are a little bit longer. He has more of the cocker look. Absolutely. Hold still so they can see your face. Good boy. Again, beautiful markings. And it doesn't look like, yep, so this guy doesn't have any phantom in him. He is just a straight Merle. And, <coughs> excuse me. Just adorable as all get out. Again, he's independent like his brother. They love people. They're gonna be great to train. Um, nothing bad to say about this guy. Um, he is independent and loves people were my two big words. So that is Ozzy and he is the black string. And the last of Athena's we have is Lita. She's the only female available from Athena and she is a solid chocolate. You talk about a round face, guys. That is stinking adorable, and she is a sweetheart. Lita, again, is independent, gentle. She loves people. Um, she was a bit more social than her brothers. She really wanted to see what was going on with me and get in my lap. Um, and that's a trait from the other litter, but she picked it up from those girls, and is just a sweetheart. And as you can see, she is just this stunning, stunning chocolate. And everybody in Athena's litter has wavy hair. There's no poodle hair in this litter. And Lita is no exception. She's gonna have absolutely gorgeous 
uh, chocolate locks of curls on her as an adult. So that is Lita the Purple String and that wraps up Athena's litter. I'm going to bring in Addie's next and we'll see you then. And here we have the first of Addie's litter. This is Tin Man, the orange string. He is the only Merle in this litter. And I'm going to briefly touch on this entire litter. So we've got about half of this litter that's extremely social, meaning they're going to explore. They're going to sniff people out. They want to play with other dogs and people. And the other half of this litter is very reserved. They would rather just chill in the corner and be your lap dog. So I'm going to touch on those with each dog, but I wanted to make sure that everyone knew that there was about half and half in this litter. And Tin Man is one of our laid backs. So you can see from his photo over there that he is just super chill, super photogenic, and just a sweet boy. He's just sitting here purring. He loves to be held. I never knew that dogs could purr until I got here. <laughs> but anyway, Tin Man is a beautiful Merle. Just like his mother, he's got deep, deep markings all the way around and a beautiful face. Uh, this is one of the best litters that I've seen from Addie. I love their faces. Let me get a focus on that. Show them your face, sugar. Good job, buddy. And this entire litter is going to be built like their mother. Addie is a little bit taller and of course breeding her with Boss who is a poodle with uh, legs that go on forever. You're going to have a tall dog here. I'm not talking giraffe tall, but they're going to be well built. Um, that's what I like to see is that their body matches their leg length. And these guys are just going to look like deer running across the field. Absolutely stunning. So very excited to see how these guys get. But this is Tin Man and he is going to have absolutely wonderful locks. I just want to hit his coat again. You can see from the tufts on the top of his head and no poodle curl on this guy. He's going to have perfect waves. So this is a phenomenal example of a blue Merle. And that is Tin Man the Orange String. Here we have Scarecrow, the green string from Addie. He is a perfect tuxedo. He has white on all four paws and the white chest. He's missing the blaze, but that isn't included in tuxedo. That's just a bonus. So this guy has the most beautiful hair I've ever seen. It's like, I wish I could have it. It's humanish. It's soft as all get out, beautiful wavy. And he's just got the cutest face ever. Um, very, very sweet boy. This guy wanted me. He didn't want other dogs. He, wa he didn't want to play with toys. He wanted me or to sleep in the corner. So he's one of our reserved lazy ones, but is also social. He wants, um, he wants people. He wants to be your lap dog. So that is Scarecrow and he is the green string. And here's the cuddliest little lion you've ever seen. This guy, now he's going to have the poodle curls, but man, is he going to have that gorgeous face. Look at that face. And Lion is pretty much a solid apricot. He's got a tiny little, like I can't even show it to you. It's so small. He's got a tiny little tuft of white right there. And the rest of him is just all full of poodle apricot reddishness. So this is another one of those that's not a true apricot. It's not a true red. It's a deep caramel. So he's going to be gorgeous. And it sure looks like that coat is going to stay. It is going to be a little bit curlier, but uh, he's just the sweetest thing. And he just wanted to love on me. So of course, he's one of my favorites. Good little guy right here. And he again is Lion the Blue String. All right, this is a very special little girl. This is Eveline, which if you're wondering where her name come from, I had no idea who the Wicked Witch of the West was. I didn't know what her real name was until I Googled it and I needed that name for this litter so that we didn't have to name her the Wicked Witch of the West. So Eveline is named after one of the Wicked Witches and she is, oh, this girl has personality. I know a lot of people don't like black dogs, but you're going to see this girl's expression and her personality come through no matter what color she is. She's an absolute sweetheart, um, full of energy and full of just happiness. She's just such a sweetheart and so playful. Wonderful, wonderful little girl. And we're going to try and get a good look of her face right there. I know that it's hard to see the black ones, but she is just absolutely stunning. And she has the most gorgeous wavy hair again. If I had black hair, I wish it looked like this because she is absolutely beautiful and a sweetheart. Um, my notes on her, again, just say she's fun personality, playful. 
She loves people. She's very social. She is going to be the best friend that totes around town with you. So she's a great little choice. And that is the yellow string of Addie's. Her name is Eveline. Well, and I know it looks like I just duplicated the dog, but this is her sister, Annie M. So Eveline has a wavy coat and Annie M has a poodle coat and it is just the sweetest. Uh, it just makes her face perfect. Uh, just, she looks just like some of those F1s with the, with the round faces. She's going to have a beautiful, beautiful round face. And again, solid black, deep, rich coat. The, soft, the softest I've ever felt. Addie has a little bit of a different coat and she's carried it on to these guys. Just the most thick, luscious, soft coat you've ever had. Um, Annie M was personality. She, again, she's playful. She's sweet. She would sit down and look up at me and that is one of the things that I absolutely love to see. It tells me that they're going to be phenomenal for training. Um, she just gonna be a very social dog and very good sweetheart as well. She is a little bit more reserved than her sisterly Valene, um, but still fun and playful. So that is a sweetheart and that is Annie M and she is the white string. And this very special little girl is Glinda. Glinda has had my heart. Um, she just looks up at you with those eyes and I swear guys in her pictures, I didn't beat on her first. She just has those puppy dog eyes that make you melt. She's not sad, she's just chill. Um, I'm gonna try and get a close up of her face because it is, show them your pretty face. <laughs> she does not like to lift her head up to the camera. She prefers to be on the ground. But look at those eyes. Oh, they will just make you melt. She's got big floppy ears like her mama and it is just the cutest thing ever. Show them how sweet you are. All right, she does not have a lot of personality this afternoon. I have worn her out, um, but she's a cuddle bug to begin with. This is where she wants to be. Um, she wandered around a little bit, but really she just would rather cuddle. So this is your cuddle bug. Gonna be a little bit of a bigger cuddle bug, but sweetheart. And she is, an apricot with a wavy coat and it is going to be beautiful. You can tell by the kind of the straightness of the top knot that when that uh, adult coat comes in, it's just going to be so beautiful. Um, and just this nice dark caramel color again. And that is Glinda the purple string. And of course I saved one of the cutest for last. This is Dorothy and she is the pink string. Dorothy is another perfect tuxedo with the four white paws and the white chest, even though it's just a fingertip of white right there. Dorothy's got the apricot poodle coat. Um, it's still thick and luscious and soft as all get out, but it is gonna be on the curly side. She has a beautiful face. Oh, look at that, I could just eat that up. Nice little round face. And uh, as far as personality on her, she's your fun one, guys. She's social, she's playful, she loves to climb. She was climbing on the little truck in the playpen. Um, she was chewing, all dogs are gonna chew. She's just coming into it early, which just means she'll be done with it before the rest of her litter. So uh, be prepared for that, but otherwise she is a wonderfully social sweetheart that's gonna make someone a, a wonderful pet. So that is the final puppy for these selections. I have 11 puppies in this selection and I will have four or five available at the end. So if you watch this and you're not on the list, get on the list. You're going to have some great puppies to choose from and I will see everybody on Wednesday. Bye-bye.